What's going on everyone? Welcome back. Design Coma here. And I hope everybody had a good weekend. Uh, I had a pretty decent weekend. It wasn't uh, wasn't all that bad. Uh, you know, I went over to help a friend out with something and overall it was a great weekend. So the gameplay you're watching is me playing some Hardpoint in Advanced Warfare. And I figured I'd pull out the speakeasy and, you know, blow the dust off of it a little bit. I haven't used it in, in quite a few weeks. You know, I've been trying out some other different weapons and, you know, I figured I'd Figured I'd play this one in this match, and overall we did pretty good. We ended up winning. Uh, ended up on the, the negative side, you know, as far as kills and deaths go. But you know, overall the gameplay was great. So uh, today I'm calling today Crazy Monday. Uh, so do, you know, depending on when you're going to listen to this or watch it, uh, it could be Tuesday or whatever day. But uh, it is recording on Monday, and. The reason I'm calling it Crazy Monday is because there's a couple things, a couple crazy articles that I just got to talk about. You know, the, there's a, a one that has to do with a local news station that we have here. And another one is uh, something I just came across on IGN. It's just, I don't know, this, the, that one I'll talk about last because honestly, I would not, I wouldn't do it. So on to the NPR thing. Uh, what, what, uh, what this is, is it's a... Uh, it was a news a news report on some voice recognition software and it's not necessarily for you know passwords or anything of that nature it has to do with an algorithm that is being used to to determine who's the right fit for a particular job position so basically you know we all know that most of the time our applications we fill out are never really seen by human eyes until the computer says hey this guy looks pretty good look at his you know and then eventually it ends up on somebody's desk in front of their eyes and to be honest with you I mean I, I don't like it but I understand why it's used because you know when you've got thousands and thousands of applications coming in I mean unless you have an army of people dedicated to looking at applications it it is it is quite difficult but you know and it, you know the old days of walking into a, a, an establishment and asking about work and then maybe having an on-the-spot interview you know doesn't necessarily happen or you know say hey come on back and in, in a day and you know we'll talk but you know I guess that only really works for fast food places now it's pretty easy to do that so basically what this stuff does is it it will take and use its algorithm to you know analyze your voice and the tone of the voice and it will kind of determine you know where there's you know emotional engagements and and things of those nature you know people that are selling things you know they they need to be engaging you know they have to be able to grab the person and and keep them uh keep them uh you know interested in what they're talking about you know it's no it's no different than you know what a lot of people do on youtube you know if, if i sat here and talked to you guys in a robot voice you would just blow right by this channel and you would never listen to it you know even if you only stay and listen to you know me talk for only about two or three minutes well you know that's great but at the same time if i was talking like a robot well, it would probably be like two or three seconds. So, you know, I, I can see where this software might have some benefits, but what it what it really makes me fearful of is, you know, I, I think about my kids, you know, because, yeah, you know, when they get ready to go look for a job, you know, when they get out of college, whatever it might be, you know, these are the things that they're probably going to have to be working with, you know. They're going to have to be thinking about, how the interview is going to go you know and of course you know nobody wants to hire somebody who's going to be blah 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 boring you know i can i totally get that but at the same time you know could this be you know passing up somebody who's really great at something so so i'm going to provide the link in the description so everybody can you know take a look at it you can you can read the article uh you can even listen to the uh the newscast you know they they got the uh They'll have uh, the uh, a little uh, player there that you can click on and you can listen to it if you want to, or you can just read it. I, I believe the, um, you know the, the article is basically just a, you know a typecast of, what the, uh, 
what the newscast was. So, so yeah, you, should, you know, definitely check it out. It's it's really interesting. It's really cool. You know, I mean, I like things technology. You know, I, I like all things technology. Uh, but uh, you know, this one I can see where it, you know, it, it, it kind of rubs two different sides. You know, it's like it's cool. I can see where it might help out, but at the same time, I, I can see where you know maybe it might hurt. You know, maybe that person is just not having a, a decent morning. You know, and and things like that and you know there's just some things that can be out of our control that can unfortunately affect the way we speak you know during an interview so so yeah you know ch definitely check it out it's it's, it's kind of interesting so the other thing I want to talk about is um, over on IGN and I'm just gonna talk about it real quick is they uh, <laughs> they posted a video and I'm gonna provide the link in there to uh, it, basically the question is you know how much money would it take for you to eat a live tarantula non poisonous but a live tarantula the size of your hand and when I watch this little video and they're going around their office uh, asking people I'm just sitting here thinking you know bugs are one thing you know eating a cricket is one thing you know uh, even the stuff that people have had to eat on survivor you know like grubs and you know <laughs> uh, some, some of the other things you know I mean I I could probably go as far as a cricket maybe but you know I I couldn't do a grub or, or anything like that some of the stuff they have to eat on survivor I just I just wouldn't be able to do it you know, yeah that, that is definitely one challenge I would just not even bother I wouldn't even waste my time so, um, so yeah, you know, it was, you know, how much money would it take to get you to eat a live tarantula? Some said, you know, none, which of course I would say none because I just wouldn't do it. One guy said he would do it for fifty nine ninety nine, the cost of a video game. So, so definitely, you know, I'm going to provide the link in the description. Go watch the video because it's, you know, in all honesty, it's hilarious. You know, and kind of gross at the same time. I think the guy at the end, I thought for sure he was going to hurl right there. You know, right at the end, he was just going to lose it. But um, I think that would be me because I, just thinking about it just makes my stomach turn a little. You know, the thought of eating something that big. I mean, you know, tarantulas are are not are not tiny tiny little spiders. I mean, these things are pretty big. You know, when you're talking the size of your hand, I mean, that's a big body on that spider. <laughs> So, so yeah, go check it out. It's hilarious. Uh, so something else I kind of want to go over is it looks like anybody who has a Twitch account, um, you may want to check this link out for sure. Uh, you probably already had the email come to you. Uh, if you do have a Twitch account, it looks like you know the the streaming service you know was uh, was breached. You know passwords, you know and, and whatnot. So I have a Twitch account, but I haven't used it. There's really nothing in there. You know, I think I I started one for, I don't know, some contest or something. And, you know, so I started a Twitch account. Uh, but I don't I don't use it yet. <coughs> so, so yeah, you may want to, you know, check it out, change your password. You know, you may even find when you go to log in that it's going to prompt you to uh, reset your password. But along those lines, the other thing I kind of wanted to... To mention is I did come across an article a while ago and I've had this just kind of sitting there is that uh, you know it looks like Microsoft Sony and Nintendo are going to kind of work together and and you know collaborate and go back and forth about these uh, re recent uh, you know Nile service um, attacks that they've they've experienced you know since Christmas I mean it's been been a little crazy you know lately and whether or not every time something's going down it has to do with the the DDoS or not, uh, you know, it, it is a little frustrating. You know, it's one of those things that just drives me crazy. So, so this is really, it's just a little small article. It's nothing huge, nothing big, but it's definitely nice to see that they're all coming together and they want to share information and learn from each other and try to figure out what can be done to, uh, you know, possibly, you know, lessen the blow, I guess, you know, to where it doesn't necessarily take the whole server down or you know or anything so so anyways i hope you guys enjoyed this i hope you learned something and definitely go check out that video at ign it is hilarious you'll love it 
and I hope you guys you know maybe learned something and I hope you enjoyed the video and enjoyed the gameplay and you know give it a like give it a share and you know subscribe if you want to catch you in the next one